Carmack Ryan, the star in the Michigan State win, getting ready to check back in. On the back door, there's living high over everybody. Words, shot clock down to five. Goodman on the drive. He sealed. Hammond, he gets hit, and it rolls in. He hit the shot. Fouled on the play. This is where the maturity and the poise comes in. And a little luck of the Irish with a nice roll around the rim. Different weapons, and if you can shoot the three, it really creates problems for your defense. Baseball pass up ahead to Trey Wirtz, who will lay it in for point number 16 on the night. You know, they finally got some guys healthy, so you can actually get five on five, and like he said, I don't have to have a fake practice. Well, Marcus Hammond looks pretty healthy on that drive as he makes his first basket of the night. To stifle the crowd, actually, this crowd hasn't been too hard for Marquette to navigate today, quite honestly. Hammond step back, and the Niagara transfer. Notre Dame down nine. Goodwin and Ryan have really been contested on the perimeter. They find Leszewski. An incredible comeback. This is going to be a great ride home for the Golden Eagles. Step back, Hammond, and got it. Watching him and seeing him grow offensively, tonight he's blossoming for Leonard Hamilton. One of these young freshmen taking a lot of minutes. And that stops a three-plus minute scoring drive for Jacksonville as they lead by three. Hammond, foul counted. Into that left hand. Nice job. Refusing that ball screen. Coming back to that strong left hand with a little kiss. Take away Hammond. For Ryan. Foul. Count the basket. Three wins, four losses. The threes aren't necessarily converting into wins. Could use a triple here. spacing by Notre Dame little ball fake by Dane Goodwin to the cutter and then the kick out cross court pass that's a beautiful offense a 9 nothing Miami run to blow this game open Hammond counted plus the foul unselfish play that time by Jaden Zachary Zona down low got it off glass for your big and then right here this is nice post entry pass seal him uh, by Zona and then all he had to do was that's the 41st meeting between these two Notre Dame leads the all-time series 27 13 they've split the season series each of the past three years Hammond turn around lefty stroke pretty good ball movement the ball went left to right and then a skip pass Notre Dame has been daring Boston College to shoot those all game. Hammond with the response. Hit their second. Notre Dame's been stroking it. Eight threes, including that one from Marcus Hammond. Leaky Black has chicken tenders that you sampled last night. Pop Johnson's got a turkey burger as well. The, uh, the chicken tenders were actually quite delicious. I love them. A loose ball winds up in the hands of Goodwin, and he'll lay it in to tie it up for the Irish. Get to the rim, slip to the basket. So he's going to have to step out to the perimeter, set some screens. Boy, nobody guards the ball, and Hammond says thank you very much as he knocks down his second three of the game. So a turnover back to Ryan. Moving it around. They want Hammond to fire, and he gets hit as he nails the three pointer. Two need for four. Marcus Hammond as Debo Coleman closes out a little too close. Especially from three. They were all of their first six. Now they've made five of six going inside the freshman. Then Allen Lube in great positioning. And now it's Notre Dame in a scoring drought of nearly three minutes. Hammond trying to end it, and he does from deep. Marcus Hammond fires the Irish back in front. Four seconds to shoot. Hammond needs a three and hits it. Marcus Hammond. Hammond, how about that for an answer? Marcus Hammond, he's got 18, his fourth three of the night. For punch down the stretch, Marcus Hammond. Incredible start here. Hammond, the Niagara transfer, sticks another. 
Seven four big man with Florida State. On the feed from Cleveland. Hammond hits. That's right in front of his look so good when he left his hand. Tamar Langford and his brother, Makai Ashton Langford. In the lineup for BC, Bickerstaff has come in. Wirtz, who just came in. That three-point shooting here in the last minutes of this game, but four for four from three. A season-high 10 made threes for Boston College. Driving to the basket, Hammond. Just because he's stepping away from Notre Dame, you heard it there, Malcolm. He's far from done. He is, and uh, speaking with him uh, this morning at shoot-around as we take a look at Hammond, beautiful jump-stop jumper in the lane. Uh, trying to wear him out, just continual ball screens, make him either hedge or they're going to have these type opportunities. Marcus Hammond count it, plus the foul. If you read all the quotes from Emmanuel when he did get here in January 19th, is about how hard he works. And apparently that has come to pass as Hammond buries the three. Hammond got back to block that shot by Appleby. And now Hammond at the other end. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Block there, and then on the other end, he pays it off. Hammond with the nice left hand. You know, the key in this game we're looking for is the high finish on his follow-through. Good mobility in that shoulder. Hammond in the passing lane. 10 on 11 and 10 win. That against the zone and Appleby can get into the peen area with a really nice lob. Hammond. Three pointer and the first of the game. Way up high goes and gets that rebound for the putback. And he was terrific at South Bend. Had 16 and 10 and added seven assists. 21 17 and throwing one a big three. Seven point lead now for Georgia Tech. Jackets on a 6-0 run. Hammond. Big three for Notre Dame. Feels like it's kind of got lost in the shuffle. 22 here in the second half. He only had five points in seven minutes. Foul trouble in the first 20. Hammond answers. They need some size against Duke on the glass. Sarling drives. Fortunate to retain possession as Hammond gets it. And the lefty puts it down. The transfer from Niagara, who played for former Duke point guard Greg Paulus. It's the least he could do come and say goodbye. We'll show you the fabulous parting gift that Coach K gave him during practice as Hammond now has four. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. Here to build some momentum going into the half to see if they can make this game a little bit closer. Marcus Hammond beats his man off the bounce and lays it in with two seconds, one second. And there is a little momentum. That, Corey, was only a second field goal attempt of the day. Ryan off the catch and shoot. He stays hot to start the second half. And this is the leader for the Fighting Irish Corps. You got to have a sense of urgency out there defending. Hammer gets some room to operate and sticks it to two pointer. Here's Hammond. Outside the three. We're going to make a move on the freshman. And that's a pretty one. Hammond has 18 points. Shot clock winding down. Crosses over Federico, and he's got 20, his high in a Notre Dame uniform. I mean, this is Federico, Federico trying to be in a stance. I mean, the crossover, the space. Federico, to his credit, did all he could to extend the hand. He's got 16. The lead is 24, and the crowd loves it. Zona throws in a three, his second of the year. Six-point lead for the Hokies. La Potite overthrown. Hammond kept it alive. Here's Wirtz. Zona catch and shoot three. Feels like Hammond's got to get some help if Notre Dame's going to win this. Five to shoot, and he's step back three on Bazzilli. Whoa, now. And now that's where Hammond can do it. And then Hammond elects to not drive it all the way, but use a step back of his own to create the space on the bigger defender in Bazzilli. Notre Dame, two of those four turnovers came in the uh, last three possessions. They went for about 14 minutes without a turnover. And look, it works. Or no, Hammond, beg your pardon. Squeeze through and score. And then Marcus Hammond, crossover killer, into the paint.